Okay. So these are shiitake mushrooms. These shiitakes are growing on uh, on hardwood logs here at the Eddy Farm. This uh, we're in Middlebury, Vermont. Um, this is a shiitake mushroom laying yard. Uh, the laying yard consists of logs that are fruiting mushrooms and uh, logs that aren't fruiting mushrooms in the back there. I guess we can start right at the beginning, the life of a shiitake mushroom from its, from its inception. Uh, it starts with the cutting of green hardwood trees in the spring. And uh, basically what we do is we cut these bolts down out in the woods. Green trees, it's really important that the trees are alive. Uh, I have oak and this is eastern hop hornbeam. Um, so we cut the, the green trees down and we inoculate those logs. So what that means is we drill all these holes. So there, if, if you can see, there's like 50 holes in this log. This is an inoculation tool here. Um, and basically, you can see it. So you, you plunge it into the sawdust with the, with the mycelium. You hold it over the hole and boom, it, it fills that hole with the sawdust. And those logs get stacked up and they just sit for a year while they colonize. And after a year, then the fun begins because that log is then colonized with shiitake and we begin to fruit it. So the fruiting involves that big tank that you see there. Uh, so the, the, the stack of logs that are now a year old that are totally colonized with the fungus shiitake are ready to start growing mushrooms. So you take that stack and you put it in the tank for 24 hours in a cold water bath. It sits in that tank for 24 hours. Then they come out of the tank. They're very heavy. <laughs> They're waterlogged. Oh, you take them out of the tank and you can stack them in various configurations. This is just kind of how I stack them. And within seven to 10 days, you know, this is what happens. Uh, these mushrooms are then harvested boxed up and delivered to the local markets. And uh, those logs will then, after 10 days, basically get stacked back up on a pallet. And while I continually, you know, go one at a time down the group and after four to six weeks, hopefully I've gotten back and that's ready to go again.